subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sumatran Rhinoceros. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm gonna close my eyes and count to 10. You hide and then I'll come and find you. You ready? One, two, three, Eight, nine, ten. I'm coming to find you, Hero. Oh, Hero, where are you? Aha! Whoa, you're not, Hero. Hey, you're stuck in a trap. Who did that to you? Let me help you. Easy. I'm just trying to help you. If you struggle, the trap will hurt you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? It looks like it dragged itself all the way here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, Rhino. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the baby Rhino. Bingo! This rhino is a Sumatran rhinoceros. A Sumatran rhinoceros? Yes, Sumatran rhinos come from the rainforests of Indonesia, specifically in Sumatra, Sabah, and Borneo. They used to be seen in parts of Malaysia as well. But not anymore? Some people believe that horns from rhinos are a miracle medicine, and people have been hunting them for a long time. Right now, there are possibly less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left alive. That trap from earlier was probably set by one of the hunters. Less than 80? Can't the zoos help protect them? Sadly, no. Only five rhinos have been born in zoos in the last 125 years. Rhinos need to be in the wild or they won't have babies. We've got to get this baby rhino back to his home and to his mother, then. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Wow, this is in the middle of nowhere. I don't think we're going to see anybody else for a while. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest. And what's this we have here? It's a Sumatran rhino. We're here to help it find its mother. Well, if you're going to find her, you'll need to know some things first. Sumatran rhinos can be quite aggressive when they think you're threatening their homes. And if it looks like they're about to charge, run away! So how do we find them? During the day, rhinos roll around in mud, also known as wallowing, to stay cool and keep their skin free from parasites. You can find them at hot springs because there's mud, and they like to lick the salt from the hot springs. They generally live alone. So they talk to one another by twisting small trees into certain shapes and by leaving marks in the soil. Rhinos can be hard to find in the rainforest, so you should look for hot springs or mud pools. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. I think she's really cute. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder! <gasps> run! She's still injured! She can't run! I'll distract the rhino! It's not working! 
I'll take care of this, Junior Rangers. Run! Looks like they've gone. Phew, that was close. We must have gotten too close to that rhino's home. Oh no! That's the rhino that was chasing us earlier. Careful, baby rhino. So it was her mother all along. She wasn't chasing us. She was trying to get her baby. We did it! We found the mother of the baby rhino! Yippee! We found a baby rhino in our garden. And it was a Sumatran rhinoceros. We learned that there are very few rhinos left. If they continue to be hunted, they might disappear forever. So we went to the rainforest and brought the baby rhino back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The giant panda. Hmm, a bit of green here and... Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. This is my puppy, Hero. This? Oh, I'm painting the garden, but it's missing something. Hmm. That's it. Hero, go sit over there, then I'll paint you in it. Thank you, Hero. Perfect. This looks a bit strange. Wait. Why is Hero black and white? And why does Hero look rounder? Hey, you're not Hero. You're a bear? There you are, Hero. Where did you go? And who are you? Are you lost? Hmm, where did it come from? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, Bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? Hey, Leo. The computer is coming up with information about our new friend. There. A panda, also known as Panda Bear, or a giant panda. A giant panda? But it looks small. That's because this panda is a young panda. It can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh more than you, me, and Hero combined. Where do giant pandas come from? Giant pandas come from the central parts of China. There, they live almost entirely on a bamboo diet. They love eating bamboo. There's no bamboo in the garden. We have to find a place where there is bamboo. Come and join us. That's a good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hi, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the rainforest. I see that you brought a panda friend. Yes, he's a young giant panda. We found out that panda's main source of food is the bamboo. You're absolutely right, Katie. A giant panda has to eat a lot of bamboo. In order to do that, this black and white bear spends half the day eating. They prefer to be alone and do not move around much. What if their predators come? Despite their large size, giant pandas can climb trees very well. They can swim, too. They have ways to protect themselves. Unfortunately, giant pandas are hunted for their fur, and they are losing their homes and food 
because bamboo forests are disappearing. There are only about 1,600 to 3,000 pandas left in the wild. Oh dear, we must save this young panda. We are trying to find its home in the forest, Ranger Rocky. Well, this is not the right forest. What you need to find is a bamboo forest. And bamboo forests can be found high in the mountains. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. We are finally at the mountain and brr, it's cold. Let's put on our scarf and gloves. Good idea, Leo. Did you see any bamboo? Hmm, I don't think so. Let's walk around to find the bamboo forest. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Oh no, the young panda is gone. Where did it go? It must have wandered off while we were putting on our scarves and gloves. We have to find him. Can you smell the panda, Hero? <coughs> Great, we'll follow you. Hey, I saw something black and white behind that rock. Oh my, it's not the young panda, it's a raccoon. Sorry, raccoon. Can you smell the young panda, hero? There, something black and white behind those plants. Oh dear, it's a mother goat with her children. She looks angry. Let's go. <coughs> I think Hero found something. There you are. We've been looking for you, Panda. Phew, I'm glad that it's safe. <coughs> we did it. We found the bamboo plants. Great work, everyone. Yippee! <coughs> a young giant panda in our garden. We learned that giant pandas live in bamboo forests in the mountains. So we found a bamboo forest where he can eat all day. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sunda Slow Loris. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's a truck. The driver must be in a hurry. What is it, Hero? It's an animal. Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. Oh, the cage is locked. I'm sorry, animal. I can't open it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here. Did you find anything, Katie? Yes, I did, Leo. The animal you found is a Sunda Slow Loris. A Slow Loris will freeze and cover its face when it feels it's in danger. This position allows it to lick its elbows, which will give the Slow Loris a toxic bite. This bite is painful and can make you very sick. I can't believe the Slow Loris has a toxic bite. It looks so cute and cuddly. Many people think so too, which is why slow lorises are captured and sold as pets. Sadly, slow lorises do not live long when they are kept as pets. The slow loris is also endangered, which means it's in danger of disappearing forever. I see. So where does the Sunda slow loris come from? Sunda slow lorises live in rainforests in Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day. During the night, they slowly climb around in trees looking for food, like fruits, plants, insects, and even eggs. 
The truck you saw earlier could belong to an illegal pet trader. Or maybe it was someone from Animal Protection taking the slow loris back to its home. Then we should do that too. This slow loris belongs in the wild. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a Sunda Slow Loris with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We found it inside this cage, but the cage is locked. Let me help you there, Leo. There you go, buddy. Careful, Ranger Rocky. The Slow Loris has a toxic bite. You're absolutely right, Katie. And that's why only trained professionals like myself should handle this animal. Good. It still has all its teeth. You get some rest, buddy. Why are you checking for its teeth, Ranger Rocky? Normally, this slow and gentle creature is non-aggressive towards humans. But if the slow loris feels threatened, there is always the chance of it biting to defend itself. So before slow lorises are sold as pets, their sharp teeth are often pulled out. Without its teeth, a slow loris cannot be returned to the wild. Because without its teeth, a slow loris cannot hunt, eat properly, or defend itself. So it's a good thing the slow loris still has its teeth. Correct. This means you can safely return it to the wild. The slow loris likes to spend most of its time in trees. So if you want to find a home for the slow loris, you should look for tall, leafy trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. This track is really narrow and bumpy. Leo, the cage with the slow loris fell out. Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a sun bear. Uh. Careful, everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh, no. Slow loris. Hey, what just happened? The sun bear smelled the toxic saliva on the slow loris's fur. So the sun bear knows that the slow loris is not good to eat. Well, that was close. Now, let's get you back to the jeep. We did it! We found a home for the Sunda Slow Loris. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> found a Sunda Slow Loris in our garden. We learned that the Slow Lorises should not be kept as pets, but that they belong in the wild. So we went to the rainforest to find the Sunda Slow Loris a home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Yellow Crested Cockatoo. Everybody, my name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to play musical statues? When the music plays, you dance. But when the music stops, you have to stop immediately. Okay, remember, when I stop the music, you have to freeze. Well 
done, hero. Now it's my turn. You control the music. Hey, what's this? I win. I win. Oh, it can talk. Did you hear that too? The bird said something. Maybe it's a parrot. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Wow, look at the feathers on its head. Hi, Katie. So did you find anything? Hi, Leo. The bird you found is indeed a parrot. And this one is called a yellow-crested cockatoo. It gets its name because of the yellow feathers, or crown, on its head. The cockatoo will raise those feathers on its head whenever it's surprised or when it tries to impress others. The yellow-crested cockatoo originally comes from parts of Indonesia and East Timor. Nowadays, they live in a few more places. Some people have yellow-crested cockatoos as pets, but their real homes are tropical forests and open woodlands. There, they eat things like seeds, fruits, and flowers. Unfortunately, there aren't many of these birds left. That's so sad. We should protect it by taking it back to its original home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs, Leo. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought with you a yellow-crested cockatoo. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're trying to bring it back home. Yellow-crested cockatoos are intelligent birds, and they can live up to 50 or 60 years old. Yellow-crested cockatoos like to rest and eat in pairs or in a flock, which is a group of birds. In the wild, they use extremely loud screeches to communicate with each other. For example, they screech loudly to warn other cockatoos of danger. Leo said the cockatoo was talking, so why don't they use normal words? Like most other parrots, yellow-crested cockatoos can copy the sounds we make when we speak, so they don't really understand what the words mean. Other talents of the yellow-crested cockatoo are shaking and dancing. They are entertaining birds, which is the reason why people like to have them as pets. Unfortunately, because people like them as pets, they have become victims of bird trading and illegal bird trapping. Though cockatoos are very good animals to keep as pets, their real home is still in the wild. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's leave the jeep. It's easier to walk here. Okay, Leo. Okay, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cockatoo, where are you going? There are seeds and berries on the ground. I wonder who left them here. Look, it continues all the way. <gasps> Leo, it's a trap. Cockatoo, stop. <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry, Cockatoo. We'll get you out. Leo, it's a Komodo dragon. Hero, Komodo dragons are very dangerous. Their bites are venomous, so stay away from him. Leo, can you open it? The Komodo dragon is approaching. I... Yeah, it's stuck. Leo! I can't open it, but I won't leave you, bird. Katie, hold on! That was close. Almost. There, you're free, bird. Free, bird. Free, bird. Look, 
Katie, the cockatoo is dancing again. Bye bye, cockatoo. Bye bye, bye, bye cockatoo. Bye bye, cockatoo. We did it. We found a home for the yellow crested cockatoo. Good job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow crested cockatoo in our garden. We learned that yellow crested cockatoos can talk and that they like to dance and move. People like to keep them as pets, but cockatoos really belong in the wild. So we found a new home for the cockatoo. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.